So I'm going to give you a rough overview of blogging with color lovers. First, you'll need to log into your WordPress account and you'll end up on your dashboard. On the dashboard, you'll want to look on the left column where it says posts and you can either add a new post or go to posts directly or just click on posts. So I see everyone's content. Um, all of your things you're writing because I'm the administrator and I edit your posts before I publish them, um, which I will note I am the only one that ever publishes posts. So let's go ahead and make a new post to look at the basics of posting. Um, up here would be the title. And down here would be the body. And you have all these tools for formatting your post. There's also two different views that you can use to edit your post with. Um, one is visual and that's the one that we're looking at now and the other one is HTML mode. Um, so we can look at that a little bit later when we start adding stuff. Um, you can use the HTML mode if you want to. We do prefer that you use all these formatting tools available to you so that our posts stay consistent. I generally use paragraph, heading one, and heading two the most. Um, so we'll go over those in a little bit. Um, on the right side here, there's a publish button, which you will never use. <laughs> and there's a save draft button up here and a preview button. What I generally do um, to preview a post, you need to save your draft before you can preview. Um, and then you'll want to hit preview and I usually open it in a new tab and just refresh it when I need. So far we just have a title and a body right here so there's not much to look at. But you can see that your bio is right here. This is what your bio will look like when you start publishing posts. Um, over here, back to the posting side, um, basically we want to turn this into this over here on the right side, um, I'm going to take a look at a couple of things over on the right browser. Um, this is a recent post we just did and it's published in our business blog which has ads on it, which some of our other posts areas, um, other channels will eventually have ads as well probably. But HP is one of our sponsors and so they sponsor the business blog. Um, so this is what your header. There's always going to be a header image and I will take care of doing the header images and your post title is right here and this is what the body looks like. So these are some images and you'll notice these here um, below the panda, the Kung Fu Fan Panda 2 image. Um, you'll notice here that these palettes, these color palettes match a couple of the the items in the picture. So this is something that I'll have you guys start doing as soon as you're comfortable with and I will do a separate tutorial on making these palettes. Um, it's pretty easy and we refer to these as badges when you copy and paste them and put them in to the blog post. Um, it just takes a little snippet of HTML <clears throat> and you post it into your, your blog post. Um, and regular users can use that tool as well. Um, there's same thing here. Here's another badge and here's another badge. Basically, it's using a combination of these two um, items to make a badge out of the colors. So, so um, let's go back over to posting. Um, so there's a couple other things we'll go over. Um, you can drag some of these things, depending on what you're using. I'm using Safari on a Mac, so um, you might view things differently if you're using Internet Explorer or Mozilla. Um, Mozilla is pretty similar to Safari, so um, either way, you can adjust a couple of things. A um, couple of other things to note on the right side here again. Um, when you're done with your post and you're ready for me to edit it, you'll come over to this publish area and you'll want to hit edit and put pending review and select OK. And that tells me it flags it <clears throat> in my view over here 
that I can look at all the pending posts which are ready to go up live and that means that you're done with it and I get to edit it. Um, the other thing is you don't need to worry about selecting any of these categories. This is what I do before I publish it live. So that's another thing you don't have to worry about. Um, another part um, that might be helpful to upload images, you can either use this little button up here. I prefer to use the tools down here. It's just easier and faster. Um, you just select files from your computer from there. Um, the header image, if you are doing that, is down here. There's a specific size that you have to develop for that and sometimes I prefer to just do them because I incorporate particular things within those sometimes. So unless told to do so, don't worry about the header image. Um, images only 555 pixels wide. This is why when you look at a post that we have we'll look at one right here so this this post doesn't have a header image yet um, it's in pending and it's just it's not done yet so um, notice the images are huge they're probably about 900 or more pixels wide and so this will blow out the whole layout um, of the blog so I prefer to have the images, if you look on the left browser here, 555 pixels wide all the way across. Uh, it just gives a nice visual to the post. No smaller or no, um, no bigger. Um, just because it just looks nice and the layout looks nice. So um, if you have to combine a couple of images to make a collage that works, because um, there's a couple in here that are collage, those, if you have vertical or horizontal if you're dealing with that. So there's some different ways to make it work. If you're having too much trouble, you can always ask me. Um, I think that actually covers it. And we'll cover a couple of other things at another time.